Another vaccine milestone. I'm Lisa Lacerra, Fox News. President Biden says 300 million adults, or about 65 percent of Americans, have got at least one dose of a COVID vaccine. The president had praise for scientists and the medical community for coming together to get shots to people and in a warning for those who haven't yet gotten a shot. If you are unvaccinated, you're at risk of getting seriously ill or dying or spreading it. The president has said he wants to have 70 percent of Americans with at least one shot by July 4th. As a new poll shows many Americans are relaxing precautions they took during the height of the pandemic. The poll from the Associated Press and the NORC Center for Public Affairs Research finds that most people have returned to their usual pre-pandemic activities like going to restaurants, traveling and going to events like movies and sports. While 34 percent of poll respondents say restrictions in their area have been lifted too quickly, 27 percent say they weren't lifted quickly enough. Amid a national push to get more people vaccinated against COVID-19, 46 percent of those polled said they definitely will not get the vaccine, with another 29 percent saying they probably will not. Just 7 percent of those polled say they will definitely get a vaccination. Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. Gusty winds and rain striking coastal Louisiana and Mississippi as what could be tropical cyclone later tonight begins to impact the Gulf Coast. Tropical storm force winds could impact that area within 36 hours. So that's why we have tropical storm warnings up now along portions of the northern Gulf Coastline. Dennis Felskin with the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards has already declared a state of emergency. Just a month ago, spring storms and flooding were blamed for five deaths, and parts of the state are still recovering from the 2020 hurricane season. Hurricanes Laura and Delta devastated the southwest portion of the state. America is listening to Fox News. Curiosity Stream is the only streaming service with thousands of documentaries, award-winning and exclusive content that will actually teach you something. And there are new shows every week. This week, check out The Island President and Classical Destinations with Simon Callow. For just $1.67 per month, you get unlimited access to Curiosity Stream's library of content available anytime, anywhere, on any device. Signing up is easy, and if you don't like it, then you can cancel anytime. Sign up now at curiositystream.com slash fox. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has called for a closer look at wealth inequality. This all started when Speaker Pelosi in her Dear Colleague letter introduced this select committee on economic disparity, tasking it with delivering proposals for a fair economic system. She was asked whether Congress should consider a wealth tax on folks like Jeff Bezos. Uh, The purpose of the select committee is to measure the problem and consider the solutions. And that perhaps would be one of the... uh, initiatives that would be under consideration. The committee has eight members, each with a specific focus, uh, Custodio Cortez's being this generational disparities in increasing worker power in the economy. Fox's Griff Jenkins. U.S. Catholic bishops have approved the drafting of a teaching document about the controversy over the receiving of communion based on political beliefs. It was days of meetings and impassioned debate that led to a private vote among U.S. Catholic bishops. The action passed with a vote of 168 in favor 55 opposed on a document to be later drafted on the meaning of communion in the Catholic Church that the bishops hope will rebuke Catholic politicians for receiving communion despite their support of abortion. Supporters of the measure say the strong rebuke of President Biden is needed after his recent actions protecting and expanding abortion access. As opponents warn, the action could portray the bishops as a partisan force during a time of bitter political divisions across the country. Jeff Manasso, Fox News. Authorities say a man who was swimming near a fishing line about 40 yards from shore in South Walton, Florida, was bitten by a shark. The fire district says the man had visible wounds to his upper body and chest. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to recover. Sharks have also been spotted this week off the coast of Long Island, New York. I'm Lee Silicera, and this is Fox News. Tired of endlessly searching for video content that will actually teach you something? Curiosity Stream has you covered. Curiosity Stream is the streaming service that has thousands of documentaries, award-winning and exclusive content not available anywhere else. For just $1.67 per month, you'll get unlimited access to Curiosity Stream's library of content covering history, science, nature, travel, and the most fascinating people on Earth. Plus, 
Curiosity Stream releases new content every week, so you'll always have something to watch. Like their newest, The Island President, and Classical Destinations with Simon Callow. Only available on Curiosity Stream. Anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Signing up is easy, and you can cancel anytime. Right now. You can get Curiosity Stream for just $1.67 per month when you sign up using this URL. CuriosityStream.com slash Fox. That's CuriosityStream.com slash Fox.